It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Kapuzina Kalavizen coming in at 5.1% ABV and produced by Kulmbacher Brewery in Germany. It's 5.1% ABV, swing bottle top. Let's get to show you the label first. And let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Woo! Nice bit of smoke. On the bottle opening, beer in the glass there. Kellervisen. Hazy amber colour, good levels of carbonation. We've got a four finger, slightly off white head. Let's stir this bottle of vice beer up. Get some more of that flavour into the beer. Looks really good. At this stage of the beer review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeerup.co.uk, largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all around the world. Looks really good. Let's get the aroma on this hazy amber coloured vison. Televising. Smells really good. I'm a big fan of this style of beer. It's got a little bit of a sweet apple aroma going on. There's some banana, coriander, clove. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh blimey, yes, yes, this is, put a smile on my face to be honest. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a fantastic beer, really tasty brew. Oh, there's a, there's a slight nuttiness to this beer, underneath all of that clove and coriander and banana. There's a good level of carbonation, pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. And then there's, as I just mentioned, a certain nuttiness, a breadiness that just is lying underneath all of those lovely flavours I've just mentioned. It's good, it's really good beer. Nice bitterness on the back end to help balance that sweetness to the bitterness. The drinkability is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm, I'm such a big fan of this style of beer. I just, I just ask myself the question, and I always do now. Is this now my favorite style of beer? Vice beer. I've got some, just some wonderful memories of drinking Vice beer on a hot sunny day somewhere in Germany or Spain or Belgium and it's just such a fantastic fantastic style the flavor profile the mouthfeel that creamy rich mouthfeel carbonation sweetness bitterness it's just for me it's almost a complete style and just think when I first started drinking this style of beer I wasn't a fan. I really wasn't a fan. Didn't like it. I couldn't understand the clove and the banana and the coriander. And then all of a sudden, something clicked. Something changed. The gears went from first to fifth in my mind. And I just totally and utterly fell in love with this style of beer. I've literally, it's 5.1% ABV. It's at the very edge of sessionable for me. I'll say this for a reason. When I go to Spain, I'll look for a, I'll look for a German bar. And I'll sit in a German bar, rather than drinking San Miguel, 
or some crazy cocktail I'll go and find a German bar in the sun still in the sun still enjoying the sunshine and I'll get a frosted glass put out to me with a lovely white beer mat and a freezing cold bottle of vice beer and it's just absolute heaven it really is it's like nothing more I want from my life I can see the sun blazing in the sky I can see the blue sea I've got a freezing cold beer <clears throat> and it's 35 degrees Fahrenheit a freezing cold vice beer should I say let's rate this it's really good great lacing on the glass great look great smell great aroma should I say great flavor for me it's got everything that that beer that beer that beer style it's got everything it's a 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer don't forget check the link in the description box of the video for beers of Europe.co.uk our proud spa channel sponsor for today's video please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up Boom! Cheers!